Today I'd like to share some really cool audio geek stuff that I've been playing with. This is an audio exciter module. I've been playing around with these things and these are little flat packs. They're basically the voice coil of a speaker without the actual speaker cone. They're intended to be mounted onto a flat surface. Hobbyists use these to make flat, flat panel speakers and all kinds of other things. I wondered if I mount this on a guitar, can I get some awesome feedback like you're standing in front of a stacked Marshall cabinet? So first let's talk about how a module, how these modules work. You can turn a foam board into a speaker. Pretty kick ass. Want to turn an old LP into a speaker? What a work and hang this. Feeling like a little Italian today? Pots rock. But the best place you can put this is on your guitar. The location on your body where you want to put it really is going to vary, so try a bunch of different places. You do want to stay away from the electronics so the coil doesn't get picked up by the pickups. Uh, I found just putting over in the back of the body works out really well. So my signal chain is I'm using a Helix to record with. Uh, the guitar goes into the Helix. I split it into two signals. The first signal is just the raw guitar tone. It goes straight into this old PV Bandit 112 uh, amplifier, combo amplifier, and the audio exciter module is plugged into the speaker output. And I've got this thing dialed into a moderate amount of distortion. Uh, if this amp were really cranked, I know it would feed back at, at that level of distortion. Volume-wise, coming into this little thing, it's barely ticked over because this is only a 20-watt speaker module. But since it's directly connected to your guitar, you don't need a lot of volume coming into it to resonate the guitar. The other signal path is going through the Helix through a couple amp models, and then I'll record that direct so we can hear the output. So, got it secured. So, just... It already feels like you're sitting in front of a big amp because you can feel the resonance through your guitar body. It's pretty it's pretty awesome really. So how does this work? Everyone who's ever had a guitar and had a loud amp has played around with hitting that chord, hitting that note, and then walking in front of the amplifier and kind of finding that spot where it feeds back. Now we always associate that with a lot of volume in the room because the speaker, while it's very loud, air doesn't really resonate the body of a guitar that well. So it takes a lot of wattage coming out of those speakers to really make your body of your guitar react to it. So by putting this module on here, which is a speaker without a coil, so basically all the motion of this, of this coil is actually going directly into a guitar. So for only about five watts of power, it's getting just the same amount of resonance from a speaker as you would be in front of a 100 watt guitar cabinet, which allows you to have a very quiet room while you're doing this. So here's, here's I'll compare room noise well, you've heard room noise, so I'll talk over the sound of feedback. I'm just going to strum it lightly, bring my guitar up, so you can hear you can hear it making noise on there. But I'm also able to talk over it in a normal volume, and anybody in the other room would probably hear some weird noises, but nothing you'd call the cops about. Very handy for home recording. That's about it. So. This is about a $25 investment uh, cable to plug into your amp, another couple bucks. It's a very cheap investment for a whole lot of fun and kind of revisiting some 80s tones. So go out there and explore.
See ya.